congratulations, Dick. Dick, congratulations on your uh, upcoming retirement. Congratulations, Dick, on your retirement. I just wanted to congratulate you on making the big move to uh, fully retire. Congratulations on your retirement, Dick. Congratulations, Dick. Congratulations, Mr. Garberson, on your retirement. Hi, Dick. I'm here to talk to you about your retirement. Um, congratulations, buddy. Well deserved. Um, I just wanted to say that you are one of the people at Children of Ingersoll that has helped me the most. I learned a ton from you and your dad. Um, thank you for all that. Thank you for everything you've done for the firm over the years. Uh, you're a great lawyer. Uh, you've been a good friend. And um, I wish you the best. I know you've got lots of stuff that you like to do. And um, you're going to have fun doing it. So. Hi, Dick. I guess I thought this day would never come because you are such a fixture at Shuttleworth and Ingersoll that I just never thought of the day that you would leave and fully retire, but it's here and you deserve it. I hope that you and Nancy have a great time in retirement uh, with the dogs and the children and the grandchildren. You will be missed. I'll never forget uh, first meeting you and your humor uh, as well as being able to take any new lawyer under your wings and teach them what you thought were the important things of being a trial attorney. And for that, I am forever uh, grateful and indebted. I wanted to give a quick congratulations to my friend, mentor, and partner, Dick Garberson, one of the very best lawyers and people I've known, uh, somebody who I've learned a lot from, and a really, really good guy. Congratulations, Dick. I can't think of anybody that has been more dedicated to the firm over the years than you. But you always kept it in perspective. Uh, you never sought the limelight. Uh, your first priority was always to help your partners and your clients. So hopefully it'll give you more time at the quarry, hunting, and other uh, nefarious activities that you like to get into. So congratulations, enjoy, and uh, we'll see you soon. It was an honor and a privilege to have worked with you for 20 plus years. You brought a lot of fun to the office and you're gonna be sorely missed. Um, enjoy your retirement, congratulations. Uh, you've been a tremendous attorney, mentor, and friend. I appreciate everything you've done, uh, both for the firm and for me personally. Uh, enjoy your retirement and uh, hope to, uh, to see you soon. I just want to take a minute and thank you for 20 years of being not only a wonderful uh, mentor, but also a wonderful friend. Uh, uh, you took me to one of my first trials I ever went to, and you've been uh, nothing but wonderful uh, in helping me uh, become the litigator that I am over the last 20 years. So thanks for all of your uh, advice and uh, suggestions that you've given me over the years and for just being there and willing to listen to a lot of uh, dumb questions from, from a young attorney who uh, learned a lot from you, so. Dick, congratulations on your retirement. Four decades is a wonderful accomplishment. Thank you for all the great service you provided to clients of Shuttleworth and Ingersoll and to the firm. On a personal note, I'll miss uh, having you in the office and I appreciate all the advice you've provided over the years. In your retirement, if you need any help with those reply all emails, I'll be happy to help. Just let me know. Congratulations, Dick. Dick Garberson, what does one say about Dick Garberson? I'm reminded of the farmer's insurance ad. He knows a thing or two because he's seen a thing or two. Dick and I joined Shuttleworth in 1974. We've practiced law together for 46 years. We were the 12th and 13th lawyers to join the firm. And I've enjoyed Dick as a partner and friend during all that time. Dick is a premier trial lawyer. He's recognized by his peers. He's a fellow 
of the American College of Trial Lawyers, a fellow of the Iowa Academy of Trial Lawyers, he has a Martindale Hubble rating of AB. He's always prepared, but I think his biggest strength has always been his judgment. He knows people and understands them, and his judgment is excellent. Dick's a third generation lawyer. His father was a lawyer here. His grandfather was a lawyer and judge and sibling. One thing that might not be well known is Dick is the ultimate prankster. Never try to outdo Dick. Jane Carson is the only one I know that's ever succeeded. She delivered chocolate covered goose feet to his desk one morning. That was after he'd done something to her. Uh, Dick's been the author of the question of the day, which went on here for years. It brought humor to the office. Dick is a lawyer, a husband, a father, a grandfather, and an owner and trainer of well-mannered dogs. He's done well in all of those roles. <clears throat> it's been a good ride. Thoroughly enjoyed practicing law together, fishing together, hunting together, and look forward to spending time with you in the future, Dick. Congratulations, and you will be missed at the firm. Dick, congratulations on your retirement. Um, I'm not surprised you're retiring because you're so much older than me, but um, I will miss you. You've always been one of my favorite lawyers to work with. You make a great record. We always get lots of pages from you and you treat everyone with respect. And it's really just been a pleasure to work with you for these 40 some years. Like I say, you are really old. Um, you know, you're also the biggest prankster I've ever known in my life. And for some reason you picked on me and I have never deserved it. I have never responded back. But as you'll see from this video, I have an entire file and I have saved all the pictures, all the really rotten things you've done to me over the years. But I do think that we should look at how old you really are. Do you recognize yourself in those short shorts? That's the dick I know. Bad birthday gifts to me, um, funny letters, lawsuits, you sued me because you stole our hog roast sign one year. Just lots of kinds of, lots of bad things. I was one time having a party at my house and was delivered crow's feet on my deck. Crow's feet. And then you submitted a recipe to the open line forum that you said was mine. So really, you've kind of been a pain in the butt, but the worst, the very worst prank you ever played actually involved my friend Connie's husband. Can you see this picture, Dick? It was Crazy Jane's. It definitely was Crazy Dick. You roped Jack into doing this nasty deed to Jane. He never would have done something like that had you not been the instigator behind it. Never. And putting that piece of cement in his, in Jane's yard, was a horrible, horrible thing. On a week where we were gone on vacation and my neighbors looked at it every day and then it weighed 500 pounds for crying out loud. So anyway, we are gonna miss you. But if you have half as much fun in your retirement as you've had while you've been working, you're gonna be in really good shape, Dick. Congratulations, Dick. The I'm sure you're going to enjoy your retirement, but the office just won't be the same without you. Heck, I might have to retire myself. You've been my mentor and friend for 35 years. We've had really great times and a lot of laughs. Uh, I remember, uh, I can't imagine how you could stand it, but you tried a case with me in federal court in 1997, right after I gave birth to Andy, and I had to be a hormonal mess, but you stood by me and helped me through it and uh, we had a really good time and obviously a great result and nobody will forget the time you you and Dr. Castaneda saved the day and jumped over the rail and saved the juror who really didn't have that much wrong with him at the end of the day but not that you and Dr. Castaneda didn't give it a good college try 
We've had great times at Big Dick Lake. I hope to have many more. Um, here's to you, Dick. Congratulations. I'm a little uncertain if I'm uh, talking to Dick directly or speaking about him as if it were uh, at his funeral, but I would say that it seems to be an appropriate time to be talking about Dick Barberson and for Dick to to be retiring uh, because frankly, Dick has to be experienced in person and technology, telephones, written communications just really aren't enough. Dick of course is uh, an excellent lawyer and there's been uh, any number of occasions in which his partners have elbowed each other and exchanged knowing glances, uh, usually involving questions of how do you think he did that? Uh, stories that prove that in many regard, Dick, regards Dick is, is a jury, jury whisperer. The bottom line I think on those issues about his excellence as a lawyer is that he knows how to talk to people, he knows how to relate to people. Um, of course, he always put the clients absolutely above everything else and the way to do it in a correct manner. And there is a way to do it correctly and Dick always knew what that is. He, Dick, starting from when I joined the firm as a very young lawyer and he was still a pretty young lawyer, He's always been very generous with his time for generations of, of lawyers and in helping youngsters, less experienced people, understand how to do things the right way. But most of the really interesting things about Dick Barberson are not about technical skill, or expertise, those sorts of things. They're stories, uh, legions of stories about situations in which Dick was involved where he was important, but in his telling, he wasn't the focus of the story. Um, there's a, a great story that Dick uh, loves to tell about how his client in, in trial in Dubuque saved the life of somebody in the courtroom so that everybody could see uh, that he wasn't, as the lawsuit claimed, indifferent to concerns about his patients. Uh, there's many, many stories that, that are really more about who Dick Garberson is. Uh, I was fortunate enough to be at the farm when his father, Carol Garberson, still practiced. Uh, and you probably can understand more about Dick Garberson uh, if you knew Carol. Uh, so, when, so many of the stories about Dick are about how damn stubborn he is and that he gets it honestly, or as Rick Price says, a Garberson never forgets. Uh, stories about Dick and Rick, who also is one of the more quirky people uh, ever affiliated with our firm, and squirt guns, ties that were suddenly shortened, driving around houses, uh, lots of things of those nature. Um, there's one particular story about what I imagine to be extremely rare Dick Garberson High School misbehavior, but it is spectacular in its scope. And if you knew Carol Garberson his, his, or his mother, uh, you can understand better how that must have gone for a high school aged Dick Garberson who drank too much and at the wrong place. Uh, for me, I learned an awful lot about practicing law from Dick Garberson, uh, and I continued to learn those things as I listened to him or stories about him even into the last few years. Uh, I am truly sorry for our firm and the youngsters in our firm that he will no longer be as available to bounce problems and issues off of. Uh, more than anything, I think Dick Garberson uh, is the single person I believe best represented the culture of Shuttleworth and Ingersoll. Um, he was always excellent in representation of the clients, but a uniting force helping everybody understand that our firm really 
was and I hope remains different. Uh, Dexter, uh, congratulations. Dick, it's been wonderful being your colleague all, all these years. I wish you the best in retirement um, and I uh, hope things go very well for you. I hope you enjoy your retirement. I hope you catch a lot of fish or at least a lot of fish stories. Happy fishing in your retirement. Hi Dick, just a quick message to say that I hope you have a fantastic retirement and I'm sad that I didn't uh, come to show work sooner and have more of a work history with you. Um, our time was very short, but I'm grateful for it because you helped me out with a couple of really tough cases. And uh, I just want you to know that I appreciate that and I wish you all the best. Hey Dick, um, Christy Marie here. I wanted to congratulate you on your retirement. You have the ability to take abstract concepts and make them very concrete and very impactful, which is your words. Anything from a story about quitting the firm for 24 hours to, um, to connecting with people personally. So I wanted to thank you. Um, I wanted to congratulate you and I hope that you enjoy your retirement. I've enjoyed getting to know you and working with you over the past 20 plus years. I wish you and Nancy the best of luck on this next chapter. Uh, enjoy your time fishing and hunting and don't be a stranger. Take care.